Dear Emma, on 12th of September 2019, I retired from a 20 year journey where Rugby League gave me, this working class kid from Bramley, the opportunity to live his boyhood dream. And you were there for all 421 games. You were my foundation in every minute of those 22 years. You were in every try, every tackle, every smile, and every tear. We met through uh, two friends at school that were back in 1996, and he's never really been able to get rid of me since. Emma's always been that pillar of support, that foundation, and sport, elite sport's really difficult because it demands sacrifice. But my family always understood. They knew what journey we were on and who it was for ultimately. That it was for them, it was for our family, it was for our legacy. The two of us became flesh, symbolic in our marriage, manifest four times in our four sons. You have been there through the emphatic wins, the painful losses and the career-threatening injuries. You have been a remedy to my greatest fears and the humility to my greatest achievements. You kept me sane when I got it wrong. You were the source, the source of my joy, of my when, joy I right. when I got it right. And yours was always the first opinion I wanted to hear when I needed advice. You shaped me and became the refining fire who by God's grace moulded me into the man, husband and father I am today. You and the boys have been the unconditional love, a shield of inter... In oh, I can't speak now. Can't say it. Yeah, that one. <laughs> that gives me the courage to take on any challenge. You are my prize, glory and my honour. Thank you, Jamie. I'm not entirely sure what the next chapter is going to look like, but I can say this for sure, that knowing that my wife and children are there outside of me, right behind me, walking with me, there's no challenge that we can't overcome together. <laughs>